violence in West Bank continues as Israeli Defense Force conduct raid in search of Palestinian militants in West Bank. During the raid, Palestinian youth hurling stones toward an Israeli Defense Force's vehicle along the streets in Nablus. A commander in the Golani Commando who was involved in the operation said Israeli Defense Forces entered Nablus on Wednesday to arrest three wanted militants suspected in previous shooting attacks in the West Bank, including the killing of an Israeli soldier last fall. Israel military raid caused at least 11 Palestinians killed and scores of others injured. raid, Gaza militants launched rockets at southern Israel and Israeli aircraft struck targets in the coastal enclave early on Thursday. Israeli Defense Forces footage on Thursday showing what it said were airstrikes on several targets in northern and central Gaza. Smoke could be seen rising from what is believed to be an anti-aircraft missile fired against Israeli aircraft and buildings. In response to the raid, schools and universities were shuttered in Gaza, while most shops in East Jerusalem were also closed. In Ramallah, most shops were closed and pedestrians were quiet. Trade activities were not normal following the latest raid. Palestinian police were seen on the street as vehicles passed al atmat Mara Square. While in Jerusalem's old city, there were only a few number of people visiting Damascus Gate. Most shops were also closed. At some checkpoints, Israeli police forces guarded and checked documents of Palestinians crossing the site. So far, Palestinian attacks on Israelis 2023 have killed 11 people. Palestinian health officials said among those killed in Wednesday's raid in Nablus were Palestinian men aged 72 and 61 and a 16-year-old boy. Scores of others were wounded and received treatments.